Phil, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what, because it's not a subtle difference. What is a neuroprosthetic? Sure. So when you think about modulation, basically what you're talking about is a circuit that's sort of off kilter. It's out of back. It's oscillating at the wrong frequencies or it's sending the wrong patterns. And what you want to do is somehow try to move it back into the right operating regime, if you will. Um, when we talk about a prosthetic device, generally, usually what we're thinking about is replacing something, something that's missing, something that's broken, restoring function, uh, replacing a part, a prosthetic heart, right, putting in a new heart, and so on. And so when you think about a neuroprosthetic, what we usually think about is replacing lost function. And there are many examples of neuroprosthetics. The earliest one, of course, is the, uh, is the cochlear implant to replace hearing for those whose cochlea aren't working right. Um, and now there are also FDA approved and in Europe uh, approved for even longer uh, re retinal implants that do the same sort of thing that stimulate tissue in the periphery, in the eye or in the ear, um, in order to replace uh, vision or audition. But uh, these days, sort of the new frontier really is thinking about uh, brain implants. So these are implants that would go into the brain that would replace lost function. And there are a number of examples of that. The one that's probably furthest along is uh, a motor prosthetic. So this is for people, say, for example, who have spinal uh, cord injury or who have ALS, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, who are paralyzed and can't move uh, their bodies. And then what you could do is you can put a, a set of electrodes, say, in, in motor cortex, which is the part of the brain um, on the superficial part of the brain up here that normally activates in order to control limb or muscles, um, lower limb, upper limb, the rest of our body. And you can read out activity from those neurons and use that to infer what it is that the patient wanted to do, and then use a machine or a computer to control some external device that would replace function. So that could be a robotic limb, it could be a, a computer interface like a cursor, um, and it could be uh, a wheelchair, it could be, uh, uh, you may have seen recently in the news, uh, there was some news about um, stimulating muscle. So it could even be uh, functional electrical stimulation of the muscle to reanimate the patient's own limb. And so when I talk about a motor prosthesis, uh, that's usually what, uh, what we think about.